Okay, so I was watching the White Sox Astros game last night. Great to have baseball back opening day. And this play came up, and I want to talk about it. A lot of things we can learn from it. First and third, nobody out. Tim Anderson at the plate. Elvis Andrews on third. Bregman playing third. And we have a little chopper hit here. Bregman attacks it, feels it, throws it on the run. We get a catch, a tag, a rundown. And then Bregman tags the runner out and looks to the next base runner who is now at second base. And so I want to break this down from an offensive perspective, from a defensive perspective, because there's a lot going on here. Smart play by Bregman. Some people will say, what's Andrews doing? I want to explain to you what's going on inside the head of the offensive player. And then super smart play by Bregman after he makes this play. It's not only a sick play, but it's a smart, heady play by a really intelligent player with a high baseball IQ. So let's break it down from a different angle now. Okay, so again, we have first and third, nobody out. You can see Andrews lead right here. Ball is hit. Chopper. Right off basically the front of the plate, just in front of the plate. You see Andrews run home. You see Bregman attack the ball. So let's start off from a offensive perspective. Anytime you have first and third and you get a ground ball, 99% of the time you're going to send the runner home. Why are you going to go home? Because you're going to try to stay out of the double play. On a ground ball that's a double play ball, Usually the third baseman is going to take it, throw it to second, throw it to first, double play. You're going to score the run. If they decide to throw you out at the plate, well, then you stay out of the double play. Now, you can argue, you can argue that Elvis could have made a little better read because it's a slow chopper. He could have said, you know what? They can't turn a double play, so I'm not going to go home, okay? But 99% of the time, you are going to go home on a ground ball to stay out of the double play. So that's why he goes. Now, as he starts to run home, the reason he's looking, so he's turning and he's looking because he's seeing if Bregman is going to throw home or if he's going to turn the double play. If Bregman had turned the double play and went to second base, then Andrews scores er, easy. Once he throws home, Andrews knows that he is out by a mile. He's going to be out by a lot. So the reason he's looking is because his job at this point is now getting the rundown. So you're taught, don't just run in and slide and be out, but to get into the rundown. I want to stop and get into the rundown. Why do I want to get into a rundown? Because my job now is to stay in the rundown long enough so that the runner from first can wheel around second and get the third, and the batter runner can wheel around first and get the second. So now my job is I've got to stay in this rundown as long as I can to try to get those two runners to move up because now we'll have second and third with one out. If I get tagged quickly, if I just if he just kept running and just slid into home, well, now it's first and second instead of second and third, and the double play is still in order, and so it really changes the situation. So he stops, and now he gets into the rundown. But here's where Bregman is super smart. This is why, and I don't know how many people caught on to this, but the second I saw this, I said, that is a, I mean, I already knew he was a really smart player, but that is a smart, smart player. Because a lot of times what you're taught, well, not a lot of times, what you're taught as a fielder is after you make a throw and there's a rundown, go to the base that you threw it to. So essentially most players would throw the ball here and then Maldonado would run them down and then Bregman would go home in case the rundown came back, right? But Bregman is too smart. And he was able to not only make a great read, see that chopper, attack it, get the short hop, right? Nice pick, wrong-footed throw, right on the money, right? He does everything right. And not only does he do all that, he now says, okay, Andrus's job is to get into a rundown. He wants to try to stay in that rundown to advance those two runners. So instead of just following the normal rules of baseball and going to the base that you threw it to, Bregman says, I am going to quickly get back in this rundown fast so that he can throw me the ball, I can catch it and tag him right away, and that keeps the runners at first and second. If he was not there, Pena, as you can see, took third base. So Maldonado would have had to run him all the way back to where Pena is, and that's where the rundown becomes long. So if he runs them back here, 
there could have potentially been a throw and then Andrews changes direction and starts going home and now Payne is chasing him and the runners can advance, right? So it's a really, really smart play by Bregman. I'm going to show it from a different angle here. Okay, here we have a third angle. So again, a Bregman attacks that ball. He picks the short hop, sweet play. He throws it there. Now you can see Pena here is starting to move over to third base for the rundown. Again, watch Bregman. He throws the ball. It's like, this is where it's really impressive. Not only do you read the ball, you attack the ball, right? You read the ball, you attack the ball. You make a sweet short hop play. You throw the ball on the money. Watch how quickly his brain processes this. The second his left foot hits the ground, bang, he goes, I'm going this way because he's in a rundown and I want to cut this rundown off as quickly as I can. So he makes the play, then he gets into the rundown as fast as he can. He calls for the ball. He flashes his glove, says, give me the ball now. He catches the ball. Andrews can't go anywhere. He tags him. And then after he tags him, he then takes his head quickly and goes to the next runner. Let me pull back to that spot real quick. So you get a better look from this view. He tags him right there. And then bang, look at his head snap around. Boom, tag, find him the next runner, right? Take the ball out of your glove, bang. Is that guy going to third or is he stuck at second? And he was stuck at second. So it shows how quickly the really smart players are able to process information. He reads the ball. It's a high chopper. He's taught, he's taught to attack that ball. He attacks it. He gets the short hop. He makes a beautiful pick. He throws on the run, right on the money. He quickly gets into the rundown. He catches the ball. He tags it to cut that runner off quick to keep the runners at first and second. He then, bang, takes the ball with his glove. He turns. He looks at the runner at second base. So seems like a doesn't seem like a simple play, but all of that happened in split seconds in his head while he's making the play. Now, the more you play, the better your instincts become. But this is the type of high-level thinking that happens in like the real special players, the, the high-level players, the high IQ players. All of this stuff happens instantly. And that's why Bregman is so, so good. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later.